July 14th and 15th, Thursday and Friday, the sun is in Cancer and the moon is in Aquarius. What a combo. Cancer, the most emotional sign in the zodiac. They feel people, even when they meet them, they get a gut reaction immediately. They sense things before it even happens. Moon and Aquarius, detached, standing apart. They also have a very strong intuition. So this is definitely Thursday and Friday, like getting flashes, the sun is trining Neptune. The sun is in Cancer, Neptune's in Pisces. And so wonderful. Into If a baby were born with this, they would be, in fact, Lady Di had this combination. They would be a very compassionate soul, Cancer, Moon and Aquarius, humanitarian, sun trying Neptune, a visionary. Neptune rules seeing things and the sun is your life force. So there's only one planet in fire. Thursday and Friday. It's a very unusual combination of feeling slightly detached with a lot of feelings. Go figure. And the upside of this is there's rhythm. Stuart Copeland's birthday is coming up on the 16th tomorrow, but I want to say this about cancers. He's a drummer. Cancers are drummers. They have a rhythm. They have a natural feeling about the mood of the day, or the volume of your voice, or the way that you feel. And so they have a rhythmical way of being in the world. And Moon and Aquarius is weird enough to go, I have a bad feeling and say it out loud because it's water and air. So let your emotional body speak to you Thursday and Friday. Pay attention to flashes that you get. There's not a lot of planets in fire, so it's not going to be pushy coming towards the weekend. It's just a very unusual combination which I happen to celebrate. I love putting things together that don't match. This would be a great cook. They wouldn't follow the recipe, Moon and Aquarius, but Cancer wants to cook. They would be a great parent. They would have all the parental urge, but the Moon and Aquarius goes, do it your way. Don't let me interrupt you. So it's a freedom at best. At worst, the person's awkward because they're like mushy and detached at the very same time. How many of you in your charts can feel contrary energies that you're trying to coordinate? That is the art of astrology giving permission for all of it. That's what I do. So Astrology Answers wanted me to tell you, let yourself celebrate all the distinctions that live in you and come study astrology with me so I can help you know the language. If you're like me, you're ready for more and I have really good news. I'm teaching again and I want to help you discover your significant planet or the planets that are really influencing your psychology because you have a purpose and a contract that you agreed to before you arrived here on this planet. And the quickest path that I found for figuring out your purpose is through studying first the planets. When you figure out that significant planet, there goes the confusion and suddenly you feel so much more comfortable being yourself. Click the link in the description to learn more about the planets, my very best friends.